You're watching WMAR 2 News. Tax cuts and boost in pay for police officers are two of the biggest parts of Governor Hogan's proposed budget for the 2023 fiscal year. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. The governor made his proposal this morning. He's calling for more than $4.6 billion in tax relief. Part of that is the Retirement Tax Reduction Act that would cut retirement taxes for all Marylanders over the next six years and end taxes for more than 70,000 low income seniors immediately. The governor is also proposing an expansion of Maryland's earned income tax credit that would give roughly 295,000 Marylanders more money on their tax return. The governor also outlined more details on his so-called refund the police initiative. He's calling for more than $500 million in funding over the next three years, including money to boost police salaries and money for what the governor says is police aid for local jurisdictions. It also includes money for public safety grants and more body cameras as well as de-escalation training. Now, state lawmakers will debate the budget over the next two months. They can only cut from it. They can't add money or programs to the governor's proposal. The budget has to be passed one week before the session ends in April, and then the new fiscal year in Maryland starts on July the 1st. And in Hartford County, a family is looking for a new place to live because a child in a home was playing with fire. This happened last night in the Bell Camp area. Joppa Magnolia Volunteer Fire Company took some photos there. Investigators say a child was playing with fire in the bedroom of that home. Home caught fire. Everyone got out safely, but there's nearly $100,000 damage now to that home in Hartford County. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. Today will be the mildest day of the week as temperatures will be flirting with the lower 50s later on this afternoon. And we are going to be welcoming some of those rain showers in by 7 to 8 o'clock this evening, starting off as rain. And then we'll start to see that transition over to sleet, eventually snow as we head around the 3 o'clock hour tomorrow morning as we're still sleeping. And the majority of the precipitation by 6 to 7 o'clock in the morning during the time of the morning rush will fall in the form of snow as temperatures drop below freezing. And then that snow really tapers off to our south and east as we head around the 3 to 4 o'clock hour tomorrow afternoon. Very light totals for you, 1 to 2 inches. Localized amounts upwards of 3 inches can't be ruled out when it's all said and done. Trending a lot colder as we wrap up the work week with a high right around 27 degrees. And then that chance for early snow possible on Saturday. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. For news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer.